13 Action News Update, sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. Happy Friday to you. I'm Ross DiMatteo right now with your 13 Action News Update. We are getting our first look inside of Elon Musk's underground tunnel here in Las Vegas. That tunnel is located under the convention center and we got our first look today. It's a unique transportation solution built by the Boring Company and it will move people across the convention center campus inside electric Tesla vehicles. The system is expected to go live when the convention center welcomes its first major convention, World of Concrete, in June. There are plans to expand the tunnel in the future throughout the resort corridor. A crime alert for you on this Friday, a shooting in Henderson sending one man to the hospital. It happened just before 7.30 near West Sunset and North Stephanie. Right now that man's condition is not known and police have released a description of, a, uh, excuse me, have not released a description of the suspect. Some local COVID-19 trends are going up once again. Our two week positivity rate is on the rise. It's now up to 4.8%. Since yesterday, 637 new cases have been reported and 10 new deaths have also been reported since yesterday. The good news is more than 1.4 million doses of the vaccines have now been administered throughout the state of Nevada. A fantastic Friday forecast. Our temperatures backing off a bit today, still well above the seasonal average, but highs will be capped in the low 80s rather than the upper 80s, like what we've seen for most of the week. We're also tracking a few clouds mixing in, but the cloud cover clears after the sun sets tonight, with temperatures falling to the upper 70s once the sun sets. Much warmer again this weekend, with highs closer to record values than averages. Upper 80s will Saturday, Sunday, even into Monday when a breeze develops. That breeze becomes downright windy on Tuesday. Temperatures fall in response to the mid 70s by the middle of next week. Danny, thank you. That was your 13 Action News update and you can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.